I painted billboards in Times Square. So I was painting huge imagery right up close, like right up this, but on the wall, on the sign. Movie stars, cigarettes. I painted 147 bottles of whiskey in Brooklyn in one period. The same goddamn label with Shenley, <laughs> Shenley whiskey sign. I really felt I was immersed in color and form, but it had to be accurate according to what it's going to be. But I just painted a lot. I painted a hell of a lot. His work initially started off focusing on things at hand, very familiar to all of us, and very much associated with an American life, an American lifestyle in the 50s and 60s. And then it grew beyond just this stereotypical American lifestyle into much larger concerns, you know, ecological, environmental, political. And it just kept growing and extrapolating until we end with the galaxy and the universe. I mean, he just, you know, keeps moving outward and beyond. So this element of focusing on the micro and the mega is always there, but then it plays out quite literally over the course of his career. <laughs>